Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys are new here, hello, welcome. I'm Stella, Washington DC based flight attendant, traveling the world, taking you with me here on my YouTube channel. my lip gloss, I've got my eyeshadow, my mascara. I just got done filming a video on my second channel, my Stella Conley channel. It's all about luxury and designer handbag obsession. The video was basically about these three toiletry pouches, kind of stuff that can fit in here. These were discontinued from Louis Vuitton. Vuitton discontinued those three toiletry pouches and it caused a frenzy like it's just such a big deal in the luxury community because these these toiletry pouches are like iconic they are so iconic princess diana used to have this one so people never thought louis vuitton would discontinue them and they did that's basically what my video is about like how could this happen the conspiracies no. that channel's really girly and it's really fun so it's, it has nothing to do with flight attendant stuff though it is just girly silly talking about pouches <laughs> like it is not it is not traveling the world taking you with me it's nothing like that basically today all i really had to do was film that video that sit down video that is finished i have to get ready for my trip tomorrow i picked up the long lax turn so tomorrow i will have almost 11 hours of flying hours and I basically do DCA to LAX, which is basically five and five hours and some change. And then we have about an hour and a half until we turn around and fly right back from LAX to back to DCA. Sign in, I believe, is at 7.30, 7.40. I forget, I've got to 7.40. So sign in tomorrow is at 7.40 and takeoff departure is 8.40. And then we get home, let's see, we land a little bit before 9 p.m. So it is truly all day of flying in the airport. I did this exact trip last month and I picked it up by mistake. I, I thought it was a two day trip because I, I didn't even think that that was an option to have an LAX turn. It's so far, that's a really long turn. Most of our turns are five to six hours. This one is almost 11. So this is a crazy, I just, I, I totally picked it up last month by accident. And then I actually ended up loving it. I was like, this is the best trip ever. I mean, I did forget my in-flight shoes and it was a little bit tiring, but my crew, oh man, those, those crew members, I, I still think about those crew members, how amazing and how just elegant and beautiful they were and just inspiration. So I literally got 11 hours for one day of work when normally 11 hours is spread out for a two day and I've got to, I've got three flights one day, two flights the next day. I'm dealing with boardings, deplanings, late delays, mechanicals, weather issues. Like there's always something, you know, there's been so much drama this summer. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is head over to Whole Foods and get some food for tomorrow. I've been loving pasta salad. So I think I'm going to make a pasta salad, potentially some chicken, I don't know. I haven't figured it all out yet. But I forgot, I got my vest. So I've been wanting, I don't know why I never ordered a vest with my work outfit. Like I ordered the dress, the pants. There's a lot of work uniforms that we can choose from and I never chose the vest. I was like, mm, I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me set the, let me set you guys down so I can show you what this vest <laughs> looks like now I do watch I rip it I do have a sweater on so this is not oh my gosh with the sweater it doesn't want a button basically my flight attendant shirt will go under this and I can wear my vest with the pants or I can wear it with the skirt and I think I want to wear it with the pencil skirt tomorrow so it's gonna be the vest I haven't decided if I'm gonna wear my solid white shirt or if I'm going to wear the checkered one which I think I'm gonna wear the checkered one because that one doesn't show as many stains. Like the white one, you get one like thing of tomato juice on there and that you can see it for days. So I think what I'll do is probably wear this checkered one 
under it and then my pencil skirt so I definitely like to have my uniform and everything my tablet charge everything laid out the night before in my prep area it just makes my morning so much smoother well it's supposed to but I'm always still running late something's always like going on something always happens I decided I would just put it on for you guys to show you I love it I always wear like the dress or the pants. I don't wear, I've never actually owned the vest, but I kept seeing other flight attendants with the vest on. And I was like, okay, that's cute. What do you guys think? Do you like the vest? I like it. I think I look spiffy. I feel like a flight attendant. I don't know why I feel more like a flight attendant in this. No, I feel like a flight attendant always in pretty much any of my outfits, but I don't know, maybe because this is new and different, I'm like feeling like really cute over here. With you, the sun is shining 24 seven. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like Went a little crazy at Whole Foods. I always spend so much more money at Whole Foods than I originally intended. I'm like, oh, this is just be 20 bucks, $50 later. This is totally going to look homemade because I'm basically just going to put this stuff in here. Who else does this? I cannot be the only one who transfers this into my own personal Tupperware so it looks like it's homemade and it kind of tricks myself. Yeah, no. You guys, I could not, I could not have made this pasta salad. Like, just, no way. No way. This is what I am packing for food for all day tomorrow. So for breakfast, I will have some oatmeal and some fruit. For lunch, I have a sandwich, just a turkey and cheese sandwich. I have my dinner here, my pasta caprese salad with sweet potatoes and red peppers and pineapple. For my snacks, I have my new favorite protein coffee drink. I'm not like a big protein person, but this drink is just so good. For a snack, I cut up some cucumbers and I made this ranch sour cream dip. And then for another snack, I have seaweed. Good morning, guys. It is 7.10 and pickup is at 7.30. I just ordered a Lyft. Uber was $45. I was like, no, thank you. So I ordered a Lyft. It was $22. Um, turn off all these lights. I'm wearing my short sleeve shirt today. I put on the long sleeve and it was just so hot. Set you guys up there for a second. Okay, let's see. Oh, sh ah, he's six minutes away. Oh my goodness. This is going to be, dang it. I should have ordered it early. I know I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll make it on time, but I'm just like, you know, Okay, should I do a bow today? I'm like, and I'm feeling the bow. Okay. Oh shoot, now it says seven minutes. Sir, drive like the wind. Get here, get here as soon as you can. Everything is packed. My bag. Oh gosh, I don't know why this is so heavy. I don't even need any of this. This is just a turn. This is just in case I get stuck. But I really, I really don't need it because it's supposed to just be a turn. My heart is seriously pounding. This guy is just like dormant. Is he at a red light? Hola. Oh my gosh, it says top driver. Uh, again today I have two flights. I do DC to LAX. Then we get an hour and a half sit at LAX when we get there. I might get off the plane, but I did pack enough food where I don't have to get off the plane if I don't want to, if we're keeping the plane. I hope we're keeping the plane today. That's always nice. So then we don't have to get off the plane. All the passengers will, but the flight attendants can stay on the plane while the cleaners come on and it gets recatered and every, and it gets ready for the next flight back. That's when you guys see me kind of lay down and take a little bit of a nap, just kind of rest and have a little bit of alone time. Maybe I'll eat lunch at that time. If we don't keep the plane, then we would just deplane after all the passengers do and walk to our next gate and get on that plane and take that plane home. So we'll see what happens. So DCA to LAX, LAX 
back to DCA. Land around 8.39 if we get in early, maybe 8.30 if we get in at the time we're supposed to get in, nine. <laughs> So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm in a super giddy, happy mood. One flight done. About, um, I think flying time was four hours and 53 minutes, but it went by so fast. It went by so fast. It was a morning flight, so lots of people were sleeping. I'm the number one flight attendant, so I was up front working first class. I don't normally work number one. Like, I'm normally always in the back here number two position in the galley, which I love. I love working galley. I love setting up the galley. I like being really organized. It's my favorite position is flying two in the back, but I picked this trip up. So the only position that was available to pick up was the number one position. So I was in the front. Such a change of pace because I'm so used to having all of these passengers back here. Up front, I only had 16 passengers and most of them went to sleep because it was an early flight. The crew's just kind of spread out on the plane right now. Everyone's kind of eating their lunch and just taking some me time, some relaxed time. We do have another flight that we have to board in about 20 or so minutes and that's our second flight today and that's LAX back home to DC. Okay, if you guys saw my vlog, about how when I picked this trip up, I don't know, last month, and I flew with all four digit seniority. And basically having a four digit seniority is you're like 2,000, 4,000, 1,000. You've been flying a really long time and all of those ladies had been flying 30 or so years. I think one was 35, but the other were 30 and 32. This flight, <laughs> I'm working with three digit seniorities. One has been flying for 47 years and the other one for 42 and the third one for 40 years. <laughs> and they are so beautiful. They are so lovely. I'm loving my senior mamas right now. They're such inspirations to fly with. You learn so much from them. I'm, I'm loving picking up these super senior <laughs> trips. This job, honestly, it keeps you young. Like this is a job where when you get hired, when you start working as a flight attendant, you'll you'll stay. You honestly will stay for 30, 40 years and time will fly and you will have the time of your life. Working with these senior flight attendants, it just it just is it just shows. It's like here it is, here's the proof right here. These ladies have been playing been flying 30, 40 years and they still love their job. I'm obsessed with that. I'm just so, I think that's so beautiful. I've been flying for seven years and time has flown and I've, and I love my job. I dedicated a whole YouTube channel to how much it's I love this job. You style, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling. Never felt so real. My heart is on the table cause you're my everything. I do, 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 do. I want to marry you. Cause when you're around, I know it's true. You guys. I'm home, I made it home. Bart's out of town, so I don't get princess parking. Bye! <laughs> I don't get princess parking, I have to go get a car. Miss Bart. <laughs> Getting out of bed this morning was rough. I'm not even gonna lie. Clocked about 11 hours of flying time. Actual in the airplane, flying through the air, 37,000 feet in the air. Definitely a long day, but so worth it, you guys. So worth it. Everything went right. Like everything. There's no drama on this vlog. Like everything went right. The flight was on time. There was no delays. Catering was perfect. We had everything. Passengers were great. The whole crew was great. The pilots were awesome. There was no weather. There was nothing that got in our way. We just, I just, 
it was just the perfect day, it was the perfect trip, and I got 11 hours. Normally I get 11 hours in a two day trip where so much more can go wrong, but 11 hours, one day, two flights, ugh. The flight attendant who had been flying for 47 years, she said this job keeps her young. It's a very active job. You know, you're, we're walking through the aisles, we're setting up galley carts, we're pushing the, the carts in the aisle to do beverage service. We're, just, uh, we're walking through the airports, we're walking on our layovers. It's just a very active job. So being a flight attendant truly does keep you young. I wanna show you guys what is in these boxes here. They are home improvement projects. So good, so good. Every single day was found a part I want to be with you. Baby, take my hand, hold it tight. This just is like a new do. toilet paper holder. Let me show you guys in here. Used to have silver hardware on here, but then I painted this and put black hardware on there. So I wanted to also change the toilet paper holder to this black one, but how's this supposed to, does this go on like, almost the, looks like it's gonna be so long. I have to move it here because if I put it here, it's gonna be so far back. I'm gonna reach in behind me. So I think I'll put it here. Okay. Welcome to Stella's new HGTV channel where we do bathroom and home improvements. I'm gonna remove this and I have to paint and fill the little holes. Then this is going to go here. <laughs> and then the towels can hang like that. So now we have four hooks to hang stuff and then I can put plants or I don't know, extra toilet paper. I can put stuff on here. I might need to just hire somebody off of TaskRabbit to come do that. This might be a little bit more advanced than what I can do. A little bit more work than I originally anticipated. I just took these things off. So that was that whole towel rack. Now I just have to get these out of here. Oh my gosh. Uh, is that coming out? Wait. Um, yeah, that's coming out. Got some sandpaper. I'm going to sand both of these guys down and then fill these holes with this sap patch and paint. We'll go into these holes and some of this other stuff. I'm gonna sand this. It doesn't really matter if I have a little bit too much because I once this dries, I have to go back over it and sand it. Was supposed to take it easy today. Took this off and now I've already used the sandpaper and sanded that. I'm gonna put the dap stuff on there and close up these holes and then I'll have to prime it and paint it. All right, that's all primed and prepped. Okay, here's the other side. You can kind of see where it is. It was it was right there and right there but in real life you on it you, like you really can't see it like if you're just like kind of in here just like really looking and once we put the other one up well man you can kind of see it i wonder if i should give it another layer of paint so random but i actually ended up ordering different um different toilet paper roll holders the ones from room and board were they were almost like in in industrial size they were so big and I took them out and I was trying to line them up to see where I was going to put it on the side for to hold the toilet paper and the little screw that like tightens it was on the top instead of on the bottom so that you don't see it and I literally tried every angle to hide that that screw part let me show you what I mean 
by that. I had these overnight delivered on Amazon. You know, if you have Amazon Prime and you spend over $35 on a purchase, you can have it, some items you can have delivered the next day at like four, between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. Well, I had that happen. On the room and board one, this was on top. So when you grab for the toilet paper, you would have been able to kind of see that. It wasn't the biggest of deals, but I don't know why they didn't make it so that it could go on the bottom, which they all kind of come that way. They're all mainly on the bottom, but the room and board one was on top. I love room and board and I buy every, I buy so much stuff from them, but those toilet paper holders, I didn't even realize how much they were. I just kind of saw them and I was like, Ooh, those, the, those will match the drawer pools. They were $65 each, each for, for one was $65. These on Amazon were $11, 11, like 20 or something like that. And the little hole goes on the bottom. You will not be able to see it on the top. Just gonna be clean and crisp and you, you won't see that, that hole. When I wake up in the morning and I see your face, I'm becoming blind by your dazzling grace. What a beautiful feeling to be close to you. There's nothing else I wanna do. Ooh, I did chip a little bit, so I will have to go over this with some paint this will go on here like this and you see what i'm talking about how the that screw is on the bottom and you don't see anything on the top with the with the room and board one it was on the top like that and i was like this has to be a design flaw like this is not right but that's how it was i even looked at the picture online so this is this is much better you don't see it you won't see it at all and um, this was $11. So it all matches now. I love that. That looks great. Wow, I might not even have to touch that up because once you put that on, you can't even see it. But I think I still will because I know it's there. What's this done? Uh, so not that one. That, yeah, not that one. I had oh, to get. You're doing the next one, okay? Okay. I had to get Bart to help me. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Did it go too far? No, that's perfect. It's good. I think it's perfect. Hopefully, it's in the right spot. Because it looks like the surrounding. Yeah, I might have pushed it out a little bit. Okay. Final product. It looks awesome. I probably won't put toilet paper up there. I'll probably put like a candle or something. This is exciting. Towels don't touch the ground. Love it. This was the old one and here is the new one. I like that the black matches with the drawer handles. And then I'm, I ordered a black uh, towel rack holder for here as well, but it's gonna be gonna be a lot smaller. Next, next, next day after my trip. Finished my home improvement projects, which I'm so excited about. I always feel so accomplished and like, ooh, new home improvements. Did need Bart's help to put in that, the hook shelf thing, that thing was heavy. I was like, I can't do this by myself. Luckily he got home that afternoon and wasn't too tired and was able to help me so that we could complete that because we were gonna go without a towel rack or anything. I don't know where the towels were gonna go. But yeah, that's it. That's all like, <laughs> Franny, run like the wind, Franny, run like the wind. Okay guys, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.